Very good then. Tell me about that. Sorry. What's your name, sir? Kamal. Eh? Kamal. Kamal. Yes. So you are a surveyor. Surveyor with pertinence, eh? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna bring you back here. Tell us a little bit more about this road now. You just said something about this road. Okay, so it's coming from the other end here. Yes, from Wasim. From Wasim. to Aga. Okay. So what uh, Kamal just said now, the surveyor for Pertinence Limited, is that this very road we're on is not going to remain like this forever. That at the other extreme end, which is Wasimi in Abekuta, is it? Yes. They've commenced a new road that is going to link up with this and come out at Oga. Aga. Aga. Olo. Olowo. Olowo. Aga. Olowo. And that's the road from the Kago Airport. Kogo, Kago Airport. Which in uh, Abepta. The country owns also share a bank with it. Ah. The country owns share the bank with it. Right. And to our right is the phase three. Okay. So, so yes, yes, okay. So from what you've just heard again, Olumide just told me that um, the country home that we just left um, at the back of uh, phase one yes. is sharing the border with this uh, cargo airport. So investing at that country home gives you further reasons for you to appreciate the fact that you are not just only investing in something that probably you have to be looking for someone to um, let if that is why you're getting a home you know so you have people who will be ready to do it and I think that cargo airport is going to be ready to run about the same time isn't it? Yeah, the construction takes off January construction takes off January okay so that would take about three years, four years? Uh, I'm not, I'm not done with the research and innovation. Okay. So it just may be ending about the same time, this yeah. country home too? Yes. Right. So that's... Ogun State is really trying hard to increase their internal generation. Uh, generation, okay, uh, revenue or stuff. And okay. with the congestion we are facing in Lagos State. Mm. So a cargo airport is a welcome idea for Ogun yeah. State. Too. So if Ogun State can also have that, mm. and to boost the IGR, there will be more need for houses around this location, mm. and to make things work. But even without that, a self-contained is being rented out recently in phase two, for around 120,000. That's okay. just a human power self-contained. Okay. Imagine someone building a human power self-contained and built six units on an executive plot. Mm. So that means annually he gets nothing less than 720,000 naira as rent. And, and that, the total cost of construction of the building, I don't think it's more than six million. Yeah. So yeah. within, with inflation, within five years, he's going to get a month to in his investment, investment back. back. That's simple economics. That's simple mathematics. You've just heard. So if you if you bought like two executives and one um, uh, one bedroom apartment, so you're more likely to recover your money that you invested originally within five months. Anyway, do the maths. Do the thinking. I am here to offer you all the kind of support I can to make that a possibility. But remember, the country home is a five-year plan, so estimated time of delivery is going to be five years from now when you'll be able to take delivery of your homes and your kids hand it over to you. So we are now right beside the phase two. ABC Garden phase three. Phase three. So all these ones, eh? Yes, we are right inside our land. Okay, so we're right inside the ABC Gardens now, and I'm trying to hold myself back from saying this, because I know if I say it, a lot of people want to start uh, coming over here, which is what I want anyway. Um, that's a gas line. Yes. All right.
So nothing will appear on this nothing road? Nothing is appearing on this road. We have like 15 meters on both sides. Okay. That's the allowance. Okay. So a starter plot which is 324 square meters here will cost 150,000 naira only. Okay. And on top of that, you pay 100,000 for developmental yes. and 200 for documentation. So 200 plus one, that's three, plus 150, that's 450,000 Naira will get you an executive plot. If, oh sorry, a starter plot, which is a 324 square meters. And just let me give you an idea what a starter plot is. If you live in the UK, where houses are not all that very humongous, but if you are conversant with the semi-detached houses, all right, all you need to do is just bang two semi-detaches together, which will give you a fully detached uh, property, and then you look at the size of that land. That is what a three to four square meters will give you. So, hmm? sorry, we pass about. I've gotten so interested in this thing, I just got lost. And uh, anyway, there seems to be a space yes. that we can make a U-turn there. Anyway, I've just been told that we've gone past the boundary of ABC Gardens. Well, what this side looks like is what the other, um, uh, the real ABC Garden also looks like. So I was trying to do the calculation of the 150, 100, and 200. So for 450,000 Naira, you get the size of the plot that I just told you anyway. And I think it's quite interesting. Then the classic plot, how much is that? Uh, 250,000 Naira for the classic plot, which is five to something square meters? 450 square meters. 450 square meters. And, um, Developmental fee? 100 to 100. So add 100 to 100, that's 300 plus 225. So you get about 525,000 uh, naira to spend on it. There should be a way out here. Okay. So we've just had it all, so we're going to use this exit. That this, in another way, tells you you already have road networks. Okay? Road networks already exist. So the executive on this side is going to be how much? The executive is 300. 300 plus. And developmental 200. Developmental 200. Documentation 200. Documentation 200. That's 400 plus 300. 700. 700. Even executive here is less than a million naira. So this is just new off the shelf. This is a new cake now, so um, I'm going to be posting more information on this. And for any expression of interest, please call TAYO dot. Um, my Lagos number is 081-582-44176. UK number is 0044-7900-0044. So the potential that people are sitting on for those who invest in this uh, property here is also humongous, and especially that uh, cargo airport. So thank you very much again for watching this video, and any expression of interest should be directed to me directly. And in case you come across any of these videos anywhere without my voice, then it is, it is not real. So don't take any information on that as being authentic. You can only take the one as recorded by TAYO dot and refer to this number, Nigeria number 08158 244176 UK number is uh, 0044793439082. And because you took another exit, I'm going to try what? That's that's the 
main Agaulu town. And that's the Obas Palace. The Obas Palace is it's further down. Further down. Further okay. Down. Okay. So that's just entrance to the main town. Okay. Okay. Oh, this one. Yes. Where you have the arch. Yes. Okay. So we are back to the the yes, Express. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So before I shut down on this recording, um, I just want you to have a bird's eye view of what the road looks like. I was telling you in my previous recording that this road is too good, it's so good that they had to do this police, uh, policeman speed breaker stuff, yeah? Um, I hope by the time we get to the next one, you get a clear picture of it. The road is so good, I understand people would just turn this place into a racetrack and they were having a lot of uh, accidents on this road even including Dangote uh, cement uh, trailers and trucks so the speed breakers were put in place to kind of like manage and control the rampant accidents that is uh, that used to happen so you can see from what you're viewing this is a pretty good road and it's one of the best in the country so far and i think even an airplane can land on this one safely without busting its tires so this is the speed breaker i was talking about so you have to go to zero 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 speed to negotiate and then step on it again so that kind of like controls and manages so this is the kind of road networks you'll be investing in Spend less than a uh, million naira, you have a, an executive plot of 648 square meters, and this is the access road you have. And the side access road is just the one that's on this kind of coloring thing that we just came out before linking up with this. So, in terms of road network, everything is good to go. Um, again, TAYO dot is there in Global Ventures. Nigeria trip um, October December 2017 and this deal on this last uh, phase 3 runs out on 31st of December 31st of December so if you want to key into this uh, uh, project um, I think you need to be calling me real quick thank you very much and God bless you and have a nice, beautiful, and wonderful day. Thank you.